As the White House tracks tens of thousands of illegal migrants now headed for the United States, key members of the Biden administration just met with their Mexican counterparts about the ongoing border crisis. However, the border czar, Vice President Kamala Harris, was not among them. The VP was at a New Jersey bakery instead. Look, I live in Jersey. The sweets are fabulous, honey. But get to the border. There's a crisis. Brian? Things. Uh, it's amazing. I've never had someone got a, ever in my life seen someone get assigned a job and have no interest in doing it. A couple of Zoom calls, one visit, goes to the border, goes in and out a sedentary way. The only thing she commented on was when the horse uh, situation, she thought that was a controversy. She immediately ran to a camera and ran in and said, Oh, this is a problem with the way uh, certain Border Patrol members are treating uh, Haitian immigrants. It turns out the investigation is still ongoing because there's nothing there. There's what you need with uh, Kamala Harris. Well, she likened she to it do, to slavery. Didn't oh, she? Oh, yeah, she was unbelievable. And the th all she needs to do, guys, is not solve the problem. Try. Try to solve the problem. Meet mm. with the people. Demand answers. If she has that charm, if she's got that steeliness to her, she could start getting answers and look like a hero in this situation just by putting the effort in. She doesn't put the effort in, which is no excuse for, and it's happening over and over again. Wow, that's really sad, Morgan. I mean, actually, our standards should be higher than that as the American people. It shouldn't just be about the effort. You should actually be effective because the president has given you that task. Basically, nobody else in his office is doing it. Parts of his administration are trying, but he gave it to her. So trying, I don't know, Brian, I think she's got to do better than try. I like to, first steps, baby steps. Yeah. Baby steps, okay, but she's the vice president. Wah, baby. Okay, Morgan. <laughs> You know, it's interesting because so, everything that the president or the vice president does, it's all about imagery, right? And we always see uh, the president um, and his beloved ice cream. I like ice cream, too. I don't blame him. Now we see the vice president at bakeries. As an aside, whatever happened to the apples that were in the Obama White House when we were all supposed to be healthier? Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, but it does sort of have this uh, let them eat cake feeling, doesn't it? Mm. Whenever we're all going to the grocery store and we're paying, you know, a lot more for each bag than we paid a year ago when hmm. gas is high, uh, when there's worker shortages, and you, I, I just, I guess from a comms perspective, I, I don't understand why the White House has the president eating ice cream and the vice president e eating bakeries and sweets. It just all seems, I think it's indicative, actually, of how out of touch they all are. Let everybody eat cake. Yeah, it reminds me of Nancy Pelosi in the heart of the pandemic. Right. People dying right. by the thousands every single day. And look, we're still losing good people. It was so much worse then, and we got a really good look. And I like Talenti ice cream. It's a little pricey. Mm. But remember, she was eating all I mean, yeah. it is. It's, it's yeah. kind of the epitome of out of touch. Really, you're going to put that up in social media. You know, I, I do want to get into the nitty-gritty, because you, you both were having such a reaction to what is going on here. What are your thoughts? Because you've lived in California under these lawmakers. You know, this is someone, Kamala Harris, who campaigned on and assured us that she was competent and she was experienced. She campaigned in part on the need for reformed immigration laws that she, as a woman of color, would champion for the rights and the humanity of those people of color who are trying to come across our border, she said. And now she's missing. And to Brian's point, I, I agree with what he said, however, that if she would just show up, Really? That she could then have measurable impacts that we could take because we all know it's a far more. Well, how'd she do when she was in California? Because if she's going to show up and she doesn't succeed, I don't think that's enough. I really she, feel strongly about that. You got to perform. I hear what you're saying. I just. What I mean to highlight is the fact that it's an incredibly complex situation that would likely never be solved within one administration. Okay. And the fact that Mexico is our greatest ally in securing the southern border and she didn't even show up this last time speaks mm -hmm. volumes to me who she continues leaving behind and it's everyone that she purports to represent. Kennedy. Two things here. One, she has hired crisis communications people because uh, when she laughs inappropriately, uh, some of the things she does comes off as very unserious and very unlikable. So maybe in her mind, she's like, let me talk to kids. Let me go to bakeries because people love kids and they love bakeries. So if I'm around those two things, people will like me. Hmm. That is not really doing the job wow. that a vice president is supposed to do. Jim Jordan always looks busy because he never wears a sport coat. I don't even think he owns one, oh. but it always looks like he's ready to get in the <laughs> ring no matter what. That's what she needs to do. She needs to be she doing... She needs to drop the she sports needs to coat? Do, do what? Two things. Yes, she needs to either go to Mexico and the border yeah. and, you know, all of the cities that are plagued by this cruel, inhumane immigration broken system. She needs to do all that. All the way to Indiana, and Montana, all of it. She needs to go to Congress, Congress 
constantly and be talking to them about legislation. So either she is abdicating her responsibility or this is the, the biggest pile of sexist claptrap and the administration does not take her seriously and they are plugging in to her into bakeries and nurseries. It's such a great point. So we were talking about pink and blue colors earlier. What you're talking about is this is just another way of saying that this is a woman with the job and she doesn't have to be hard about things. She doesn't have to do the difficult part. I mean, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, be busy. Go do the stuff. Well, look, yes. I have likened it to um, that friend that you have that's always on their phone. And you know they're always on their phone because all you see is the top of their head. Yet when you call them and you say there's a <clears throat> crisis, they don't pick up. They ghost you. That's what this feels like right now with the vice president. She's ghosting us. Not okay. We fire that friend, don't we? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just using an analogy. Block Maybe you don't friend. have a friend like that. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.